super excited for our next guest. Not only a Tony winner, but a Pulitzer Prize winner, Jessica. We don't get those in every day. Uh, incredible uh, writer and actor on the stage and on the screen. He stars in Ford vs. Ferrari, which is out right now as Henry Ford II. Tracy Letts joins us. How's it going, Tracy? Great. How are you? It's going well. Good to have you here. Uh, we had uh, John Bernthal and uh, Josh Lucas in the other day. Those sons of bitches. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask the, the, you the same question I asked them first. Because uh, this being a car movie, what was your very first car you ever had? 1978 Mercury Cougar. Oh. Uh, I went into a uh, into a 7-Eleven in Dallas, Texas, and it burst into flames. <laughs> and I just walked away from it. That, Did you, you know, really? You left it burning I in the just, parking yeah, lot? Yeah, I just walked away from it. It's like, that's done. Do you know what? Josh Lucas said that his first car he left on fire on the middle of the road as well. No joke. He didn't know what to do. He probably heard me say that in an interview. He's just stealing it. I'm stealing it. Swiping exactly. your hype. Yes. I can't believe. How could he How could he do that? Are you a car guy generally or not? Are I you... don't know anything about cars. I can tell the difference between the red one and the blue one. And that's about as far as I got. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't watch car racing or NASCAR and stuff. Yeah. I love this movie. I was engrossed yeah. by it. The character stuff, but also even the way that the car scenes were filmed, uh, I found it fascinating. You're playing Henry Ford, like we said. What do you do, Tracy, when you're playing a historical figure? How much do you try and take of that actual person, and how much do you try and just capture the essence of him through the story? I, uh, Frankly, I didn't do a lot. Uh, the the script was really well written, and so much of it was in the script. I mean, and I, my director uh, Jim Mangold said straight up, "We're not making a documentary. This is a movie." And uh, Henry Ford is not such a part of the public consciousness, Henry Ford the Second, that people yeah. know know what he looked like and sounded like. We don't need to do a Henry Ford the Second impersonation. So. I didn't. So we got a good haircut and a good, uh, good, <laughs> a good suit, and put me on the set, and I was able to do it. I sometimes think actors like to pump up the job a little bit by telling you all the work they did. Yeah. And, uh, sometimes it doesn't take all that. Sometimes it does. Sometimes you do have to do all that research in order to pretend with authority. But uh, in this instance, I didn't have to do that. Did they custom make you a, like a fancy suit? Oh yeah, I'm wearing the good clothes. Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you get to keep it? Hell no. <laughs> Damn it. In terms of it, the always questions about collaboration, and there's some writers that are very much stick to the script, and there's other writers I know that uh, want to, and showrunners, especially on TV, and you've worked all, a lot there with Homeland and a lot of those shows, who want to have a more collaborative process. Right. Uh, I, I'd be curious for your take on both of those, when you're on the writer end of that and when you're on the actor end. Well, when I'm a writer... I what I invite is discussion. Let's yeah. talk about it. If you have an idea that can improve this thing, let's hear it. Because quite often, actors do. It's uh, it's why we're in a collaborative medium. If I didn't care to hear that input, I'd be a novelist. We have more Ford versus Ferrari questions, but I have to say I saw Little Women a couple nights ago. And Isn't I, it, it fantastic? It is so fantastic, yeah. and I can't get it out of my head. It's and just so every And you're so wonderful in it. I understand Greta Gerwig, who's just such a, such a talent that she reached out. I mean, obviously, you you knew her from Lady Bird, yeah. and possibly before, I don't know. But that she reached out to you with this script and said, hey, can you take a look at this? Yeah. You know, Greta and I are in a movie together called Wiener Dog, a Todd Salons movie, yes. where we never met uh, on the film. We met at the premiere of Wiener Dog. And that's where she first had a conversation with me and realized, oh, he's just an old softy. And so she put me in Lady Bird as the dad. And then we became friends, and then she sent me the script for Little Women. She was working on it while we were doing Lady Bird, and she sent me the script just to get my thoughts. It was just like, well, was she really sending it to get my thoughts, or was she just showing off about her brilliant adaptation? Because it's so great. I had no notes for her. And then she called, and she asked me to play a part, and I just said, tell me where and when to show up. I'll do anything you ask me to do. She's it's a brilliant adaptation. Yes, it is. Because when she first mentioned it to me, I have to say, I told her this the other night, when she first mentioned it to me, my first thought was, well, that's a bad idea. Little Women's been done so many yeah. times before. Why would you feel the need to do that again? Why would you set yourself up for that? But her adaptation is so smart. It's, uh, she's not only taken what we know and love about Little Women, but she's also made it such a contemporary story. It's such a moment She's writing to the moment we're in right now. And Without being preachy on any not level. At all. And not at there's all. nothing heavy handed. It's just it's so beautifully um, constructed. It's it's a fantastic piece of work. And then the movie. And you've got she, some amazing facial hair in it. 
Yeah. And then the movie we made is very much the movie that was on the page, which mm-hmm. is, I, was true of Lady Bird, too. She, she absolutely, she makes the movie that she writes, and she should because she writes it so well. I think that might, Lady Bird might be my favorite on-screen performance of yours. I thought that was so Thanks. tremendous, so nuanced, and uh, it could be so powerful yet so quiet at the same time, that character. Uh, well, in some ways, it was cl- maybe closer to the guy I really am. I get, mm-hmm. you know, I play a lot of these hard asses in suits and stuff, but uh, really, the guy who's like sitting in the next room reading the newspaper is really much more my style. You're the old softy. Yeah, I'm the old softy. <laughs> We're talking with uh, Tracy Letts, stars in Ford versus Ferrari. Yeah, it's out right now. It's it's absolutely terrific. You should check it out. Um, we're big theater goers. Uh, we know you're going to be on Broadway uh, in 2020 with the Minutes, uh, which that? which you uh, which you oh, wrote. Uh, it's about a small town sort of city council uh, meeting. Uh, what can you say about that show and uh, and uh, that we can expect soon? It's a rockin' good time. It's uh, it, it is. It's 90 minutes real time of a city council meeting. Uh, and not nearly as boring as that sounds. Uh, and it's uh, Army Hammer and Jesse Mueller and Blair Brown and myself and some great uh, actors from the Steppenwolf Theater Company and Austin Pendleton. And it's uh, it's uh, it, it it's a rockin' good time. It it will uh, it'll get it'll get your blood up. Is what I'll say about it. Anna Shapiro is directing, right? She is. And did, did she do Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? No, she did August oh, Osage. She County. did August Osage County. Yeah. Um, I I saw you in Virginia Woolf, which was so great. Thanks. Oh, such a, such a great performance. Did you know you wanted to be in the minutes when it was going to come back? I've never been in a play I've written. I've never wanted to be in a play I wrote. You know, we did the minutes a couple of seasons ago at Steppenwolf, and uh, William Peterson played the part I'm playing, and he was fantastic. But he's got twins, and he didn't want to do it again, and so... You know, we so offered, you're his understudy. No, we offered it to a lot of people. They all turned it down. It's like, all right, then I have to do it. So uh, I'm doing it because I have to do it, and I'm starting to own the idea that it's going to be good and a fun time, even though I don't like well, acting in my own why, stuff. Why don't you like acting in your own stuff? I just, I, I, I don't want people sitting in an audience conscious of the writer. I don't write that way, right? I don't, I mean, some people are great tour de force writers, and they and they like that the attention is drawn to the writer, and I don't like that. I like people to forget that it was written, and they just get involved in the story. And I always thought, well, if I'm in it, they'll be very conscious of the fact that the writer is on stage. Uh, but they're just going to have to get over it in this instance. <laughs> right, no choice. No yeah. one else would do the role. <laughs> there you go. Come Nobody on. else would do it, so I'm there. What are the differences as an actor in terms of having to get yourself into a place on the stage to do this show eight times a week and maybe up for a year um, over and over and over again versus on a on screen for take after take after take and then being done. Is there one that comes more naturally or is it, I mean, you're a natural theater actor, so I guess that's maybe. But I mean, those are very different processes, I imagine. They are very different. Yeah, I've just I've done theater my whole life. And so uh, it's more second nature to me. It's taken me a while to learn to get comfortable on a film set, get comfortable with a camera. You know, when I did uh, I did Virginia Woolf, and Alex Gonza, who created Homeland, saw me in Virginia Woolf and asked me to be a part of his show. And I had not done anything on camera at that point in about seven years. And the work I had done on camera had been very uh, in pieces over a number of years. But the idea that I could then do a TV show uh, as, a, as a series regular and... Uh, in a sustained way, so I could show up on set, I could start to learn to relax a little bit, I could start to learn people's names, uh, right? <laughs> when you're when you're just a day player or a week player, it's just like the first day at school all the time. It's a miserable feeling. So once you start to learn people's names, your shoulders can start to drop a little bit. And I was very lucky on Homeland in that uh, I was working with Claire Danes and Mandy Potenkin, and they were not only, they're not only great on the show, but they were very generous collaborators because I went to them both on the first day and said I haven't done this in a long time I need help I'm going to pick your brain and they were very generous about giving me that uh, Jessica and I were big Homeland fans and uh oh my god I, I hated your character so much yeah. at first and that's why he was so but but then to watch him evolve and change and and you hit this point where I'm like wait do I like this guy <laughs> like wait he's an a-hole wait, wait do I like him like it was fascinating watching the, his evolution well he was like a person, wasn't he? Yeah, you know, was. what Alex described to me was, uh, I know that this guy seems like 
again, just another hard ass in a suit, but there's more to it than that. And uh, I stuck with it. I mean, it's a terrific show. I, it's such a beautifully uh, wrought show that they made. I, I was so proud to be a part of it. It was just so great. Are you writing now? No, I'm not. You're I'm not. doing a lot of this right, right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will be writing soon. I'll, uh, I'll start a rewrite of the minutes, mm -hmm. so I'm not rewriting it while I'm in rehearsals uh, acting it. Because, you know, you always rewrite between productions. Right. And fortunately, the minutes is in pretty solid shape, so it doesn't need a big overhaul, but I will uh, definitely be working on that. Well, in the meantime, check out Tracy Letts and Ford vs. Fry. It's out right now. That, watch that scene of him in the car and what happens when that car comes to a stop. <laughs> it's absolutely tremendous. You're going to love it. Tracy, thanks so much for coming And Little in. Women, December really 25th. Really appreciate it, yes.